Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? The super hyped return of Brock and Misty in episode 42 of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime is finally here. And we finally get to see the original crew reunite for a full episode as Ash and his new crew returns to Kanto, along with Professor Kukui and the Lowlands Professor Oak as part of a special Pokemon School project. Now I'm not gonna lie, this episode is straight up fan service. From the very moment we set foot into Kanto at the very beginning of the episode, the fan service begins and it doesn't stop till the last second of the episode. But that doesn't mean it was a bad episode. In fact, many of you will probably rate this as the best Sun and Moon episode to date, but I'll let you be the judge. So how does this reunion happen anyways? So after the airplane ride to Kanto, Lily's Vulpix was feeling a little bit off, which was when Brock came by and being the Pokemon Doctor student he still is, he obviously wanted to care for the Vulpix. After all these years, he's not a Pokemon Doctor just yet, just as Ash is not a Pokemon Master just yet, but it's good to see him still on that journey. Ash sees Brock across the room and is immediately super happy to see him, but as Brock looks across the room himself, he of course sees a beautiful lady and completely ignores Ash's hug as he rushes over to the lady to give her his classic spiel. But as usual, Misty comes over and grabs him by the ear and it's like we've been transported back in time. Classic Brock is still classic Brock. And to see them pull their first gag after seeing each other after so many years, I almost shed an imaginary tear. It seems like they're sporting the same clothes from their original designs, but in the Sun and Moon art style, it's quite refreshing to see the characters now that they're drawn in more expressive ways, especially with Brock's new expressions. They then head over to Oak's Ranch. The Alolan crew gets to meet a bunch of Kanto-only Pokemon that they've only seen Alolan forms of, like Rapidash, Marowak, Raichu, Exeggutor, Dugtrio, and more. And seeing Kiawe bawling his eyes out after seeing a Kanto Dugtrio looking like a bald Dugtrio to him was just pure gold. Because you know, Dugtrios and Kanto don't have hair naturally. And as you may also know from before, Kiawe has a thing for hair. Another literally golden scene was when Alolan Marowak and Kanto Marowak started fighting, pissing Pikachu off, causing Pikachu to thunderbolt everyone. But of course, since Kanto Marowak is ground type, electric attacks have absolutely no effect on him while the Fire Slash Ghost type Alolan Marowak gets electrocuted along with the whole crew. Later on, we get a few short flashbacks on Ash's old journeys while the three walk down memory lane, but that doesn't last very long as they go on to explore the area a bit more. And of course, Team Rocket comes over with a giant Meowth robot to capture their Pokemon. And the highlight of it all was when they sent out Mimikyu, and it literally scared the crap out of Bulbasaur as if he's never seen anything more terrifying. After Team Rocket blasts off again, Jigglypuff comes out of nowhere and we get another fanservice piece with her singing a song putting everyone asleep, and ends up getting cheesed for everyone falling asleep to her singing. She draws on everyone's faces just as she's done before, and they all have a great time waking up seeing each other's messed up faces. There was one weird part in this episode, and it was the fact that Mew actually appeared in the episode for the very first time in Pokemon anime history. Mew has actually never appeared in a Pokemon anime episode aside from the movies or in the openings or slash ending songs, and to see Mew here was a huge surprise and might be a sign of things to come. But it also might be because Rhoda mentioned there was a missing Pokemon after taking pictures of all the Kanto Pokemon, and they just wanted to show the last one to the newer audience that are not familiar with all the first gen Pokemon. But who knows? We only see Ash interacting with Mach, Tauros, and Bulbasaur. So it would have been nice to see Ash reconnect with more of his own Pokemon like Pidgeot and Totodile, but his return to Kanto doesn't end here as the next episode have him battling it out, with Brock and Misty which we'll get to see them using Mega Evolutions for the first time. And so we got more time in this Kanto reunion for more fanservice-y things to come. Anyways, what do you guys think of Ash's reunion with Brock and Misty? Which Pokemon do you want to see Ash reunite with? As usual, let me know down in the comments below. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for Tokyo Saurus for the latest things people are talking about in Japan. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.